What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you something you might not have noticed in Fortnite Chapter 5. Now if we come over to our quest, go to collections, press X and come over to augments, you'll see we can now view upcoming augments. And number one, we got cluster collector, gain two cluster clingers, eliminations grant additional cluster clingers. Now cluster clingers are pretty annoying if you're running, you know, trio squads and they're kind of just trolling with them. If they run this as a squad, good luck. Let's go on to number two. Laser precision. Weapons with a laser mod, they'll slightly increase headshot damage. Gain a rare weapon with the laser mod. Now this is interesting. They're now tying in augments with the weapon attachments, which can make for some interesting plays. But let's go ahead and move on to the third augment in combat and it's barrier breaker weapons with a muzzle break mod they'll increase structure damage gain a rare weapon with a muzzle break mod now this right here could be super useful i believe in builds i don't play too much build but let me know if that's the case if y'all that play build are interested in this augment right here now number four is shield suppressor weapons with suppressors they'll increase damage to shields gain a rare weapon with a suppressor now we all know if you play chapter five shields are super annoying so go ahead and add suppressor and spam spray to open up your opponent for some damage this right here could be super useful now let's head over to game changers jump time gain a super sprint jump every 20 seconds we've had this one before named differently but this is going to be super useful in both modes builds or zero build definitely movement is key in fortnite and we all know that number two shield breakaway Gain the slap effect when your shield breaks. Over shield excluded is the key thing you need to understand. So if you get cracked for 40 or 45, now you will not gain the effect. You have to get cracked for 51 damage. And then you go ahead and get the slap effect. Now builds, no worries. There's no over shield. You get hit, boom. You go ahead and get that slap effect. Now you have that unlimited stamina for a brief period of time. Super useful in my opinion. Swift combatant. Gain increased movement speed while aiming down sights, reloading, and after downing enemies. This right here is nothing short of being a game changer, in my opinion. If this plays out how it sounds, this is definitely going to be my favorite to go to. Movement speed is always key in these fights, whether it's solo, squads, whatever it is. Now, there's so many plays you can make with this. I'm going to go ahead and just, let's say, let's play out a scenario, okay? You only need to ADS reload down an enemy. So you go ahead, ADS, spray an enemy, and knock them. So now your movement speed is continued throughout those actions, right? And now you spray them as well. So as you're running towards them with additional movement speed, you could reload to continue the movement speed. Spray once, reload as you run up to your enemies and go ahead and make sure you wipe the rest of the teammates or go ahead and get the full, right? This is obviously going to be in duels, trios, and squads. So, definitely a game changer, in my opinion, favorite off the bat. Now, in mobility and scouting, we have Water Rifter. Get rifted into the air when you swim into a fishing spot or if you stay in the water for 15 seconds. This could play out. I mean, I don't think, yeah, we haven't had anything like this. This could definitely be a play if, you know, the circle just happens to be in a large area of water. And number two, we got the Soothing Slap. Gain slap energy regeneration after using any healing consumable. Nothing else to be said there. You guys know what slap is. If you don't, again, it is going to give you the effects of, of unlimited stamina for a short period of time. On top of that, it gives you heals. Then we got Storm Chaser. Reduce the amount of stamina drained while tactical sprinting. Reduce further while in the storm. We've had this one. You go ahead, no stamina drained when you're sprinting. I mean, it's the, it's, it's the same one, same as we've seen in previous seasons. Let's go on to number four, Aquatic Warrior. Another one we've had already. Wasn't too useful. I mean, now if they, let's say, buffed it, added some additional, like it actually works this time because it didn't work in the previous seasons, then Aquatic Warrior plus Water Rifter. I mean, I don't know. You guys enjoy playing in the water? Could be something, but not one of my favorites. Let me move on to looting. When we move on to looting, we got mini reward. Instantly gain mini shields and gain additional mini shields when opening containers. We've had this. I believe the name was different. I can't think of it at the moment, but opening an ice chest, ammo crate, or just a chest, you will go ahead and gain additional mini shields. Always need shields 
and this is going to be super beneficial. Number two is agile mending, reduce the movement speed penalty while channeling healing items. Anything with movement is a plus, so definitely got to see how it plays out once the update comes in. But as of right now, I don't know about that one. And lastly, we have soothing slap, gain slap energy regen after using any healing consumable. Now, what I do notice is this is the same as soothing slap, so there might be an augment missing. I mean, giving us two of the same augments to re-roll into is kind of absurd. I don't believe they'll do that. Let's hope not, but this should just be an error right here. And we're going to end it on that, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on the augments early on before we get our hands on them. Thanks for tuning in. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If not, try and tune to the next one. Until the next one, peace.